Hi, I'm Vicki Haas from Handy Quilter, and today I have a new tool for you that you are going to love. So when you're putting your batting on, after you've loaded your top and your backing, and you've loaded it to the take-up leader, sometimes it's really difficult to squeeze that under there and pull that because you tear the batting or stretch it. Well, I've got a tool for you that you can install on your frame. These are called the pole cradles, okay? So they're gonna go right here on each side. You'll put one on the right, you'll put one on the left. And it takes a few tools to get it on, but the first thing that I think is really important that you wanna do is actually take your camera, your phone, and take a picture of the way this is actually installed right now so that when you because you have to take out a few screws so when you take out those screws you go oh my gosh I can't remember how to put that back together you've got a picture of it so that you'll be able to do that so let's get started the first tools that we will need are allen wrenches you'll need a four you'll need a three and then if you have the fusion or the infinity frame you'll also need a five because there's an extra screw down here on the sidearm that you'll need to loosen up to open up the, the sidearm here to slide that um, your pole cradle in but for today we have the Avante and so we're going to put this one aside we will need the three and the four the other thing that I found to be really important is a small container so I just have a plastic cup here that because there's a lot of screws that have to come off there's four on each one of these pole uh, areas here plus there's two up above so have yourself a container so that you don't have to end up picking up those screws off the floor the first screwdriver or allen wrench that we need is the four because we want to take off our ratchets this is my right side. On your left side, you don't have ratchets, you, but you do still have some screws that you have to take out. So we'll start with the right side, and we're gonna go ahead and loosen, and remember, take a picture so you remember how this all goes back together. And something just fell out there, so that's really important. I'm gonna have to go find that on the floor. And I'm going to, this time, put my finger here so that that doesn't fall out. It's just a little piece of plastic, and I'll show you what that is. Okay, so I've got this, and I'm holding this cap here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. So this is what you have. You have your ratchet, you have a screw, that little cap that goes on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my plastic cup. Then we have this part. And then we have this little peg. So we're going to put that in there, and I'm going to take that off. So that's everything that goes in these holes right here. Now you may want to get a separate cup for the rest of these. And we're going to change now to our three. Now we're going to, there's four screws here. I'm going to go ahead and loosen those screws. So before I go any further, I'm actually going to do a really important thing. I'm going to actually take this pole right out and just set it aside, okay? Because I want this to come off, so I need that pole out. Now you can see as this last screw, things are starting to kind of fall apart. So you want to hold everything so it doesn't fall on you. And then you have two parts here, okay? And those two parts will fit back together when we're ready to place this back. So go ahead and place that there. Now I'm gonna, again, I'm going to take the pole out of here and move it over to the side. And if you feel more comfortable to take your poles out and put them on the floor, you can do that. Whatever works for you. So all in all, in this, there are 10 screws that we're going to undo for this side with the Avante frame. If you have the fusion or the infinity frame, there will be another screw right down here that you'll need a five millimeter hex wrench to t loosen that one. Now we have to find our, our uh, pole brackets. The pole cradle. These are called the pole cradle because it's gonna cradle my pole. So as you see, this is the one that I need for here and I can spread this apart 
That's why we need to take out on the fusion or the infinity the screw that's down here so that I can spread that apart. So that'll spread apart. That'll actually just fit. Look how easy that was. That just fit right down there. And there it is. Now we get to start putting it all back together again. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this one. And this is the one that was over here. Going to place that in there. That's the way it should look. So I need some screws. I'm going to go ahead and just put one in there to anchor that in. Be careful, don't tighten them so tight that you're going to crack that plastic. Okay. Now, if you had the fusion or the infinity frame, you'd need to put that screw back in as well. So that then that's all put together. Now it's time to put all of this together. Remember, you took a picture of that, so you might want to pull out your picture at this time. So we're going to go ahead and slide that in. My screw in. Now my last part here needs to go in there and they all need to fit together. And then with my screwdriver, my hex wrench, we're going to go ahead and tighten that up. There. Now we have that one. The next one, I'm going to go ahead, put that in there. Make those little square pegs fit together. It's a little left-handed job here. Tighten that up so that fits there like it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my poles and put them back in here. Okay, so if I were to need, if I wanted to use this, I want to take out my top pole. I just take this out and it rests on there. Look at the space that I have between here. That's only one pole cradle. Now we need to do the other side. The other side is just reverse, except we don't have ratchets. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. So you don't have the ratchets, but you still do have a uh, assembly here that you need to undo. So there's still 10 screws. If you have the fusion frame, and I've been saying the infinity frame, but it's actually called the gallery frame. So if you have the fusion frame or the gallery frame, that will you'll have that extra screw down here on the side arm that you'll need to release on the other side as well. So you go ahead, you'll take out all those 10 screws, place that in, put them back. If this, um, don't forget, take a picture because it's a little different. But don't forget to take a picture so you remember how to put it back together. This is like one of my favorite, favorite new features that we've got because we always struggle getting that batting in between the poles and this has just taken care of it. When I advance my fabric, it just makes everything so much better. So I hope you enjoy this and happy quilting. <laughs>